Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma is a cancer that commonly seen in children, and we will talk about it. Let's get into it. Neuroblastomas are cancers that develop in young nerve cells. Young nerve cells are also known as neuroblasts. In neuroblastoma, nerves never fully develop. Instead, they are turning into the tumors. On image, you can see an illustration of neuroblasts. And neuroblastoma is the most common malignant or cancerous extracranial solid tumor of childhood. We said that it's seen in childhood. What is extracranial? Extracranial means outside the cranium. Cranium means a bony dome that houses and protects your brain. And it develops from the tissues that form the sympathetic nervous system. What is sympathetic nervous system? Sympathetic nervous system is the part of the nervous system that regulates involuntary body functions. And neuroblastomas are cancers that start in early nerve cells. We said that it's called neuroblasts of the sympathetic nervous system. So they can be found anywhere along the sympathetic nervous system. And most of them begin in sympathetic nerve ganglia in the abdomen. About half of this start in the adrenal gland. And we will talk about the symptoms, but I want to talk about the most common sign of neuroblastoma. Most common sign of neuroblastoma is a large lump or swelling in the child's abdomen. And the child might not want to eat, which will cause weight loss. If the child is old enough, he or she may complain of feeling full or having belly pain. We said that it is most commonly arises in and around the adrenal glands, which have similar organs to nerve cells and sit at top of the kidneys. These are kidneys and adrenal glands are sitting top of the kidneys. And however, neuroblastoma can also develop in the other areas of the abdomen. It can be arise from anywhere that sympathetic nervous system goes. It be in the chest, neck and near the spine. So let's talk about the symptoms. We can see fatigue, loss of energy, pale skin loss of appetite and weight loss, which those symptoms are common in every cancer. Bluish lumps in the skin and bruising, particularly around the eyes, could be another symptom. A swollen, painful tummy, sometimes with constipation and difficulty peeing. Bone pain, a limp and general irritability. Lusty and rarely jerky eye and muscle movements. We we have a syndrome called opsoclonus myoclonus syndrome. In this syndrome, we will see jerky eye and muscle movements, which is commonly seen with neuroblastoma. You are seeing raccoon eyes, which will be a symptom of metastasized neuroblastoma. And this is skin involvement of neuroblastoma. We will talk about some facts. The average age of children when they are diagnosed is about 1 to 2 years. In rare cases, we can detect it by ultrasound even before birth. And nearly 90% of the cases are diagnosed by age 5. And it is rare in people over the age of 10 years. And doctors will perform some tests and procedures in order to diagnose it, they can do physical exam, urine and blood tests. They will look venyl mandelic acid and HVA in urine to diagnose it. If it is positive, that could be a sign for neuroblastoma. They can use imaging tests such as CT scan. They can remove a sample of tissue for testing. They can remove a sample of bone marrow testing. You are seeing a CT scan of neuroblastoma. This is an example of CT scan. The five-year survival rate for neuroblastoma is 81%.
which is the average number, but a child's survival rate depends on many factors, particularly the risk grouping of the tumor. And for children with low-risk neuroblastoma, the 5-year survival rate is higher than 95%. Can we prevent neuroblastoma? No, because at this time there are no known ways to prevent most cancers. The only known risk factors for neuroblastoma are age and heredity. These are the factors that we cannot change. And the treatment options are surgery to remove the cancer, chemotherapy for shrinking the cancer, radiotherapy and immunotherapy. Most children with neuroblastoma will need to have chemotherapy and chemotherapy may be used as the primary treatment for neuroblastoma or it may be given before the surgery to shrink the tumor or after the surgery to destroy any remaining cancer cells. Lastly, what is immunotherapy? Immunotherapy is the use of medicines to help a patient's own immune system recognize and destroy cancer cells more effectively. We can use immunotherapy as well in neuroblastoma. Thanks for watching. If you find it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. Take care.